Hey nerds, Todd Simmons here with you with another Toddomation video. Uh, today we're talking about logging into GitHub with an SCM credential. So I'm talking about using uh, Ansible Automation Platform. Um, used to be called Ansible Tower. Uh, can also be used on Ansible AWX. Uh, there's another form of Ansible called Ansible Galaxy. And uh, Ansible Galaxy is the CLI version of Ansible. I will not be doing any of this on Galaxy. Uh, just to let you know. So anytime I say Ansible, I'm referring to one of the GUI versions of Ansible. So let's talk about uh, SCM or a source control module. The definition you see on the screen, that's exactly how uh, Red Hat or IBM, however you want to look at it, uh, names it. But basically it's a username, password, or a username, token, uh, or a private key. The private key is what I'm going to be focusing on. That's what I like to log in with. <clears throat> so if you have it, already created your private key pair and put it on Git, uh, go ahead and look at the, the, um, the video information below and you'll see a link to one of the videos that shows you how to do that because uh, you will need that private key in order to follow this. Now, if you just want to use your username or password, you don't want to do the private key, uh, go ahead and continue, but it won't be specifically uh, based on username or password. So um, we're going to create a new credential, specifically an SCM credential, right? Um, and then we're going to create a project that uses that SCM credential. And then we're just going to validate that it works, right? We don't need a template. We don't need to run a playbook to validate our credential. We can do that with just the project piece uh, here in Ansible. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, let's go ahead and create a new credential. So we're just going to go to the hamburger. And from the hamburger, we're going to go down to credentials. This credential type is already part of Ansible, so you don't have to create a new credential type. So we're going to go add. We're going to name the credential. And I'm just going to name it GitHub SCM, because that's what it is. Uh, I'm not going to provide a description. Feel free if you want to. Organization, because I like to use them. And then the credential type, uh, two things. One, you can hit the down arrow and just start scrolling through it. Or because we know it's source control, we can just start typing source, and the only option it will give us is source control. Now, it's immediately going to expand because there's a lot more information. Like I said, you can do this with a username or password. We're not going to, right? We're going to use a private key, which I already have my private key over here, right? So you would, you would need to get that. So I'm just going to copy that private key to my clipboard. And then I paste it in here. Pretty simple, right? I don't use passphrases pass with my private keys, at least this one. Uh, so no need to do that and then click save and at that point we've got a new credential so if you look it's all alphabetical so here is the github scm credential that we just created using source control so <clears throat> uh, just in case i put this in the powerpoint so you can uh, see your screen what it should look like okay and then now let's test the credential so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a project uh, this is what the project's going to look like when we're done, but I'm going to walk through that. So we just go to the hamburger. Under resources, we're going to go to projects. Okay, for projects, we're going to create add. And then uh, add, I'm going to call this GitHub SCM test. And once again, you can put a description in here or not. Uh, the execution environment. Uh, i got to choose the organization first, sorry. And go to sweat team. And then... The engine, I'm going to use the Ansible engine 2.5. Remember, this is containers. Uh, and then source control type. This is Git because we're logging into Git. So as soon as we do that, it's going to want our source control URL. And in order to get the source control URL, you just have to go to your Git. Here's the repository I'm interested in. Now you click on code, make sure you're on SSH, and then you copy it here, uh, and then it's copied. So Paste it right in here. The source control branch, if you only have one branch, you don't have to put anything. I put main just because I'm used to it. Uh, and then the source control credential is the credential that we just created. So you can see I have the GitHub SCM that I just created, and I hit select. So make sure that, that yours matches this. Obviously, your source control URL is going to be something associated with your Git. And this is just Git. It does not have to be a, a private, right? This is just going to do the login. Uh, via uh, username or password token, if that's how you chose. Uh, but the way that I'm doing it, it's going to use that SSH private key that we had previously set up. You don't have to select anything else. As soon as I hit save here, it's going to go ahead and test it. And there it goes. It's running. It's testing it. 
Just waiting for it to finish and successful. That's what we want to see. So when we're done, we should see this successful. So that means that the credentials that you just created and attempted to log into your GitHub with were successful. And we can see that by going to jobs. And this will be the most recent job. We can look here. Now I have all of the data being uh, returned to me, uh, even the debug data. Uh, as far as the login goes. So when I look at it, you're going to see a lot more information. But here comes the login right here. So this OK localhost, this is the login aspect of it right there, which worked just fine. It was able to return any of the facts here. We go all the way to the bottom. We look at our recap, our localhost, OK equals 3. So that's it. That's going to show you that your new SCM uh, login that you use specifically for Git is working. Uh, so this credential can be used on any of your repositories, right? Because it's an, an SSH global um, credential inside Git. So it's going to be able to be used on anything that you use as far as SSH uh, into Git. So uh, once again, uh, like below. Uh, ask me any questions that you may have. And we'll talk to you all later, nerds. Bye.